So how to pass an array as a parameter to a function in C? I want to clarify this once and for all. So how do you properly do it? Well, first let's take a look at an example and then think about a problem and then get to a solution that works, right? And it kind of implements this sort of idea of passing arrays as parameters. So here we have an array, right? All the numbers from one through seven, right? Simple enough, array declaration works. Then I have a sum S and I want to print that on the screen. I just say sum here. And I have to calculate this sum by calling a function. That's what I want. I want a function that gets, that takes in, well, our array and probably the number of elements and returns back uh, the sum of all elements. Simple as that. How do you do this? Well, let's first start by creating the function, right? We get int sum and I want here well, let's start with just, just a simple array notation, right? I just want an array, just like that. I want the number of elements because I don't know the number of elements just by looking at the array. And then the simple business. So as you can see here, I have uh, just made a sum of all elements using a for loop. Nothing special, I'm sure you understand this. Uh, the, the key thing here is I'm passing here the array using the array like sort of declaration notation. And I can compile this, right? If I, if I try to compile this, it's going to be successful. No errors, no nothing that works. It's compiling and I can also use it. So if I say here equals sum of array and then I pass in the number of elements, which is for our, uh, for our purposes, it's seven actually. We're just gonna pass seven, simple enough. And then we're gonna have it stored be in here I'm gonna have to uh, print on the screen so I'm gonna launch this and you'll notice I get sum it's 28 so whoa that's actually the correct answer because well you can you can actually do this in your head but it's 28 trust me now how did that work did we actually pass in an array or did we pass in a pointer to the array that's the main question like what what did we get ah to, to figure it out is kind of difficult but what we can do is actually, what if we simply change the array in here? What if you simply say array of, I don't know, the first element, let's change that to a 10. If I call this function and also say here first, let's say first element, right? And just kind of say array of zero and percent D of course. If I run this now, you'll notice that the first element has changed to 10. So we have made sure that we're not passing a copy. We're not actually copying it element by element and sending it to the function because if we modify this, we modify this. So we definitely are passing a pointer. But why? Because this is actually an array, it's not a pointer. Uh -uh. It's actually just a pointer for whatever reason, we are actually just, this actually downgrades to a pointer for the compiler. It's like the compiler goes, okay, well, there you go. So just kind of, I'm just gonna replace this. <laughs> and that, that's how it works basically. And uh, it's going to accept just a pointer. And if you modify it inside, of course it's going to modify the array because you're now just kind of downgrading this array notation to a pointer. So if you dereference it and change it, of course it's gonna change it uh, in the main function. Now, that is equivalent to this. It's exactly the same, right? So you don't have to, you, you shouldn't really pass in actual arrays. You should actually use pointers because that's what you're gonna pass anyways, all right? So this is how you actually pass in arrays to functions, simple as that just a, a pointer to the first element of the array. One thing that is really important to understand is that while this is an array, when you're passing it to, an, uh, to a function that takes in a pointer, it's going to convert it, sort of downgrade it to a pointer. This guy is not a pointer, it's just automatically converted, right? And when we are doing this, we weren't actually passing any sort of arrays, we're still passing pointers, because as I said, behind the scenes, C comes along and says, uh, uh this doesn't work. You just have to uh, roll with me here and just kind of 
uh, use a pointer. And another way you can actually prove this is through the size of operator. So the size of operator is kind of neat when it comes to arrays. So let me show you here. So if I say here, print F and say uh, size, and I'm going to use percent LLU because the size of operator returns a 64 bit unsigned integer, right? And I'm going to say size of our array. And if I run this, this is something interesting. You'll notice I get 28, right? That's not the sum of all elements. No, no, no. That's actually the, the size in bytes of the whole array. And if you actually uh, do the math and calculate how many bytes this array should take, it's correct. We get, well, we get what? Seven elements. That's what we have. And each element takes in four bytes because it's an int, right? It's a 32 bit integer. So just multiply those two and you get, well, 28. So that's correct. But when it comes to changing, when, when it comes to actually uh, checking it here, if I say print f uh, size from sum function, right? Say percent LLU again and size of array, array, you will notice if I run this, size of size from sum function is eight. <laughs> Why is eight? Well, that's because I'm using a 64 bit compiler and a 64 bit compiler says pointers are of size eight bytes. And that's where that comes from. That's, so that basically says you, my friend, are a pointer. So make sure you use this whenever you're trying to pass in arrays uh, to another function and make sure you uh, understand that you're passing them by reference and not by value. So if you're changing it here, it's going to affect code here. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. And thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.